Hi there, my name is Valislav Radek. I'm a writer and mathematician. And when I'm not writing books, I'm usually here at university teaching young bright minds of the future basics of mathematics and finance. And maybe that's the reason why a couple of my friends sent me this viral mathematical problem. They said it's even boggling some of mathematicians. You see, my friends couldn't agree on what is the right solution. And maybe that's the cause of virality of this problem. It blew up all over Twitter, Facebook, and even some mainstream media picked it up. Okay, Fox News picked it up. Anyhow, it took me a couple of seconds to realize the problem of virality of this and uh, understand why this problem split my friends in half. Let's solve it together and let's analyze. Okay, the complex mathematical problem goes as following. I have it written here directly from Twitter. It says 8 divided by 2, open bracket, 2 plus 2. How much is that? Okay, and now I will give you a couple of seconds uh, to pause and think about it and solve it. And then we're going to solve it together, okay? Do it. I hope you solved it like this. You said 8 divided by 2. And then, of course, you said 2 plus 2 are equal 4. This is multiply here. That's equal 8 divided and then 2 multiplied by 4 is 8, 8 divided by 8 is 1. If you got 1, that's correct. But if you got 16, that's correct as well. Why? Because you can say, okay, let me try again, starting from here. So we have 8, and of course we want to solve this, what's in a bracket, divided by 2, multiplied by 4. And now if you go from left to right, we're going to say 8 divided by 2 equals 4, and 4 multiplied by 4 equals 16. So basically both groups are right. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is that this uh, mathematical conundrum is not written by mathematicians. You see, the point in mathematics is that everything is notated as clear as possible. And I know uh, for a lot of you who struggled with mathematics in your life, you think when you see all those numbers that, uh, uh, or all those equations, that there is really big complexity behind it. But the philosophy of mathematics is that we try to present everything what we write as clear as possible and as non-ambiguous as possible. And this is not only ambiguous problem, this is a uh, wrong problem put wrong or problem notated wrong. You see, like when you use division and then multiplication, you want to make sure to explain the guy who will, the person who will try to solve this, which operation should be done first. And because here is not uh, clearly defined, a uh, real mathematician or anybody who passed the, the primary school mathematics will do uh, something as following. They will either put this into a brackets or they will either put this into a brackets. And then situation is quite clear. Okay, that's the also reason why we uh, don't write problems like this. You see, usually uh, uh, problems like this should be written as following. There are either two ways uh, uh, to write this problem uh, that doesn't have any type of ambiguity. And the first one is this, 8. And then you can put like a long line for division and then you can say like 2 uh, multiplied by 2 plus 2. And this is, of course, clear that it's 1. But you can also write 8 divided by 2 and then multiplied 
by 2 plus 2. And that is clearly, this is 4, and this is 4, clearly 16. Okay? So why problems like this go viral? Well, there are two reasons. First of all, is that uh, scientists, psychologists proved that um, we get feeling of a threat if somebody corrects us, especially if somebody corrects or even attacks our own beliefs. So uh, this is what, what put us really in defensive mode and our subconscious uh, goes into this defensive algorithm where we try to defend uh, uh, our own belief. The White House press secretary to come out in front of the podium for the first time and utter a falsehood. Why did he do that? Don't be so overly dramatic about it, Chuck. What it, it, you're saying it's a falsehood, and they're giving Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts to that. The second reason is that uh, simple problems like this rattle actually everything what uh, we know about the world, because we were sure that uh, our set of, of knowledge that we know about outside world is absolutely correct. And we're quite sure when we solve simple mathematical problems like this, that a uh, solution is correct. And when other solution is presented, then we feel uh, that maybe everything else that we know about science and outside world is maybe wrong. In this case, absolutely not. Anybody who wrote this problem either had bad sense of humor or actually didn't know first level mathematics. <clears throat> hey, if you like this video, consider subscribing to this channel. We're producing amazing TV show that we're going to premiere exactly here that explores human nature, science, mathematics, literature and beyond, trying to answer the questions that are bothering us every day where solutions are closer than you might expect. So, subscribe and see you soon.